tankers and welcome to world of tanks i'm gonna show you how to play it already and do maximum damage and get a brothers in arms this is myself and drx get her done one of my best platoon buddies playing these things um the thing with already is a lot of people think that you're dead on every time you pull that trigger well i'm gonna show you you're not but you, you have to make a decision playing already, uh, especially when you have several targets available. You have to make that decision of which is the most dangerous. You know, who, who presents the biggest threat? And uh, you work together to take him out. And it's not hard to do. It's just following through, more or less. It's like this, the IS-7 was moving in and I figured he was a bigger threat the way he was going because he was headed toward the hill so I hit him and took a lot of his health off. And going back and looking again, the IS-7 is going to be up on the hill pretty good ways before I can get loaded again and that mouse can absorb a lot of damage and he can do a lot of damage. The mouse has the same gun that the E-75 has. Um, it takes a while to load, but that thing can become a meat shield, so he needs to get taken out as quickly as possible. So me and my partner Gitter both hit him and drop him down to 11%. Try to get him down as far as we can, as quickly as we can, so our teammates can finish him off. You go back and look again and uh, see what the threat is. That mouse is still alive. I can hit him from here, but I'm not loading. The IS-7 is still at 46%. He's still up there pretty good, but I can't hit him. Now, that mouse keeps going in the same direction. I'll take him over the IS-7 just to get that gun out of the game. And he's gone. And every time in already, especially high tier, now you can get away with it in lower tier, sitting in one spot and just click, click, click. You can get away with it, but playing artillery in the in the uh, higher tiers, um, you can have your tracer actually spotted by the opposing already, and that already on the other side, if he knows what he's doing, he can pinpoint your location and take you out, and you never lit up. Now in this situation here, we got one at 35% and one at 100%. They're sitting pretty close together, and you have to pick your target. Um, sometimes if you hit a larger target like that medium, boom, full health gone. If you hit him and there's a light sitting next to him, sometimes you can take that light out too. Um, sometimes you can shoot right between them and do a lot of damage to the medium tank and kill the other one, but your main deal what you want to do is take the gun out of the game so you try to take the gun out now this st1 he come around the corner he's out in the wide open i got a clear shot at him i'm waiting to load oh he's down to 57 percent st one's pretty tough and I, and I know i can do a lot of damage to him so i'm going to take the shot on him because he's out in the open and drop him down to 10 percent and here in a minute uh, my buddy get her done is going to take him completely out he's same way i am just get the gun out of the game this oe5 back here he's he's pretty sharp i cannot hit him there just can't do it i can see him if i raise up high enough but i can't hit him at all and this other OE5, he has sat back there behind that hill this whole time. This is what I call guys that all they want to do is do cleanup. And so they'll sit and hide. They'll stay already safe. They'll stay shot safe and that kind of thing till the end of the game. What I'm doing here is what I talked about earlier, is looking for that hardy fire in common places where hardies normally sit. That's why I was scanning. Now this is an example of how inaccurate an arty can be. And see, I've got it right there. Now watch where the shot hits. Way off. And shot off to the right. And I have seen it hit not even inside the reticle. So, you know, it's, it's not a surefire deal that you're going to hit him. 
these guys are still hiding pretty good. Still can't get to that one on the left. The one on the right's not going to come out behind that rock. This guy's playing pretty sharp. If I was loaded right now, I could kill him easily. But, with him backed up against that hill like that and the way the hill is coming down, I'm going to take the shot, but it's not going to hit him. See, it, it's not accurate at all. It's more or less luck and RNG, however. Good, the RNGs feel like treating you today. The gods, that is. There's no way I'm going to hit him, so that's a waste of time sitting there on him. And keep your reticle moving, keep scanning for Artie fire. That's a common place for Artie to sit back up in there. And so is this spot back over in here. And you just keep scanning for Artie fire. When you know you can't get a shot on anybody else, scan for Artie. Because you may or may not see him. I never did see him this game, but I had a feeling he was back there in those bushes. But he didn't fire, so I didn't see his tracer. So I couldn't get a shot at him. <clears throat> and not too sure whether he was there or not either. Now Gitter just took out the OE5. You see down on the mini map, he changed locations to get a different angle. And that that took out another gun. Well now I'm back on this guy again that's been hiding pretty good the whole game. He's doing a really good job, I mean I figured he'd stop and pull forward, but he didn't. He had been sitting there behind that rock the whole time, so I missed him. We'll try to get him again. Big shout out to you, big brother, playing that thing, because you did a, a really good job back there. Already safe. This is where you made your mistake, was coming around on this side, though. Just waiting for you to light up again. And I would rather have that OE5 than that medium. I would rather kill him. The OE5 is a bigger threat. They are ex they are really tough. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this shot, knowing I can't hit him, but I can splash him and do some more damage to him. But even though you know you can't kill him, if you if you know you can take hit points off of him, take those hit points because that's going to be the deciding factor is how far down you can get him to where he'll build one shot for your teammates. And right now, this guy's a, a one shot easily for any of them to hit him and he'll be dead. My phone. It'll just have to keep ringing. The OE5 backed up in front of me. If he had not have angled his armor, at that moment, I would have killed him. I'd have hit him right in the buttocks. I love those shots because they'll take an OE5 out at 100% if you hit him dead center. back on OE5. If I was loaded, I would take that shot. I would take a blind shot up there on that corner, but can't do it. This guy, ain't no way I can hit him. And my partner's lining up on him now. But the other, the 121 got him first, and, and big props to the 121. Um, he knew what he was doing as far as spotting. He knew that was an awful big gun pointed his direction. And he took the shot and killed him, and he's fixing to have a huge gun pointed in his direction, and he did not take the shot. He sat back and let Artie take care of it, um, and he did get the spot and damage, so. This is where he, this guy finally messed up. He decided to come out here on this corner, which is wide open for me, and take him out. I'm gonna take the OE-5 out. Um, He's a bigger threat than the artillery is right now. The 121 lit up the artillery, and he's right where I thought he was going to be, right behind the cap. And uh, I figured the 121 would go ahead and, and take him out. 
but uh, he must be on some kind of spotting mission or something and, you know, trying to get as many spotting points as he can. And rather than risk taking him out, he backed off knowing that we were going to take this OE-5 out first. He lights him up and he backs off. He's All he's doing is keeping him busy. That's all he's doing. As long as he keeps him busy, um, that already on that side, if he's smart, he won't fire his gun unless he has a good shot on that medium. So he's just going to sit back and keep him lit, keep him busy, keep him keep the Artie from shooting um, our guys on the hill. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's just keeping him busy. And that frees us up. And the only thing left is the Artie on the other team. And the 121 is going to light him up. And like I said, he must need the spotting damage because he could have come around the corner and killed him easily right then. But he let me have the kill. Enemy vehicle destroyed. If you guys want to know what mod I'm using, I'm using Quickie Baby's mod. Um, does everything I need it to do. <clears throat> and they're all legal mods. And we'll go to the screen to see what all I did. I got uh, Acer, Bruiser, Fighter, Gores Metal, which if some of you guys don't know what a Gores is, if you're in an SPG and you do 10 times more than the hit points of your vehicle, you get this Gores Metal. It's pretty cool. And, of course, we got the Brother in Arms and uh, High Caliber. Let's just see how much damage was done. I did 6,652 6, with four kills. My partner, he did 2,238 with three kills. And what he did, his damage was low with three kills, is because he took the, out the guns. That was his biggest objective, just take out the gun. And same thing with me, I just happened to hit uh, higher on my points. Doesn't mean I'm a better player. He's a much better player than I am. It's just I took the first shot and got the main damage, and he cleaned up the rest of it is what it comes down to. This guy here, this is the 121. Hats off to you, brother. You did a good job spotting. Uh, details. I fired 12 rounds, uh, 8 direct hits, 8 penetrations, and 4 splashes. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how you do it. I came out 41,000 credits ahead. In time you do the XP with the bonus of running a platoon, 2,125 XP. Gotta love it. Y'all have yourself a good day and hope to catch you again.